When it comes to the most powerful land-based weapons on Earth, intercontinental ballistic missiles stand out. ICBMs are capable of traveling vast distances, delivering nuclear warheads across the globe in minutes. Imagine a missile capable of reaching anywhere on the planet in minutes. That's the power of an ICBM. And today, we will compare two of these giants. Sentinel vs. Agni-5. ICBMs play a vital role in nuclear deterrence strategies. They serve as a powerful deterrent against potential nuclear attacks by ensuring a second strike capability. This means that even if a country is hit by a nuclear strike, it can still retaliate with its ICBMs, thus discouraging any initial attack. The presence of ICBMs helps maintain a balance of power among nuclear-armed states, preventing any one country from gaining a dominant strategic advantage. The LGM-35A Sentinel is the latest intercontinental ballistic missile being developed by Northrop Grumman for the U.S. Air Force. This new missile, which will replace the aging Minuteman III, is part of a modernization effort for the U.S. nuclear arsenal. It is expected to enter service by 2029. On the other hand, India's Agni-5 is an advanced ICBM developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The missile was first tested in 2012 and has since undergone several successful test launches, with the latest tests showing improved accuracy and reliability. The Agni-5 is a key component of India's nuclear deterrence strategy and is designed to provide a credible second strike capability. When comparing the estimated range and payload capacity, the LGM-35A Sentinel and Agni-5 show distinct features. The Sentinel has a range of over 5,500 kilometers and can carry the W87-1 warhead. This warhead has an explosive yield of around 300 kilotons, which is 20 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The missile's modular design allows for flexibility in payload configurations, making it adaptable to various mission requirements. The Agni-5, with a range of about 5,000 kilometers, can carry a payload of up to 1.5 tons, which typically includes a single nuclear warhead with a yield of around 100 kilotons. The missile's three-stage solid fuel configuration enhances its range and reliability, ensuring it can reach targets across most parts of Asia and Europe. If we see it figures, LGM-35A wins this section. The guidance systems and accuracy are crucial for the effectiveness of ICBMs. The LGM-35A Sentinel employs advanced inertial navigation systems combined with star sensor updates, ensuring high precision in targeting. These systems are designed to withstand electronic countermeasures and maintain accuracy during flight. The Sentinel's guidance technology is expected to provide a circular error probable of less than 100 meters, meaning the missile is highly accurate in hitting its intended target. On the other hand, the Agni-5 uses a sophisticated navigation system based on an inertial navigation system with ring laser gyroscopes, coupled with a micro-inertial navigation system for redundancy and improved accuracy. Additionally, the missile is equipped with a satellite-based GPS system to enhance its precision. The Agni-5 is designed to achieve a CEP of around 30 to 40 meters, making it highly and more accurate than Sentinel for its strategic role. Launch platform mobility is another crucial aspect of these ICBMs. The Sentinel is designed to be launched from fixed, hardened silos, which provide strong protection against enemy attacks. However, being silo-based makes it less mobile, potentially making it a more predictable target in a pre-emptive strike scenario. The fixed nature of its launch platforms means that its locations are known and can be targeted, although the hardened silos provide substantial protection. The Agni-5, in contrast, is designed to be road mobile, allowing it to be launched from various locations. This mobility significantly enhances its survivability by making it harder for adversaries to track and target. Road mobile launchers can be moved to different locations, adding an element of unpredictability and reducing vulnerability. This mobility is a key factor in India's strategic planning, as it ensures that the Agni-5 can be deployed flexibly in response to emerging threats. So, in mobility, Agni-5 wins. In terms of design, the Sentinel's new architecture offers several advantages over the established Agni-5 platform. Its modular open system architecture not only ensures easier upgrades and maintenance but also allows for quicker adaptation to new threats and technologies. Digital engineering technologies enable more efficient design processes and simulations, reducing developmental risks and enhancing performance reliability. 
These modern features potentially offer better long-term operational flexibility compared to the older, yet proven, design of the Agni 5. The Agni 5 possesses unique features for survivability and quick launch times. Its road mobile launch capability ensures it can be relocated rapidly, making it difficult for enemies to detect and target. The solid fuel configuration of the Agni 5 also contributes to its readiness, as solid fuel missiles can be launched more quickly than liquid fuel ones. This quick launch capability is crucial for ensuring a credible second strike capability, which is a cornerstone of India's nuclear deterrence strategy. In summary, while both the LGM-35A Sentinel and Agni-5 are critical components of their respective countries' defense strategies, they represent different stages of development and technological approaches. The Sentinel is a cutting-edge project aimed at modernizing the U.S. nuclear arsenal with advanced features and digital technologies, albeit facing significant challenges. The Agni-5, on the other hand, is a proven and reliable missile that reinforces India's strategic deterrence capabilities. The differences in their range, payload capacity, guidance systems and accuracy highlight the unique strengths and strategic roles each missile plays in their national defense strategies. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.